This is Jandine. Welcome back to my channel. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is Jandine. Today I want to talk to you guys about Christmas traditions and some of the traditions I remember we had as a child when I was a child some of the things I really enjoyed during Christmas and I know some of you know can relate to some of these things so some of them might be just me but anyway this is what I remember and I really enjoyed about Christmas I'll start off with the first thing which is Christmas clothes I mean, come on, every Christmas you get a new outfit just for Christmas, which then became your Sunday best. After that, after Christmas, it was now your Sunday best. <laughs> and I used to love that. I used to love it so much because you get a really cool new outfit, trendy. Probably you guys were all marching or something. But if you look at the photos of those, those clothes, you probably used to match <laughs> with a lot of people because obviously everyone is wearing kind of the same thing and anyway, i used to enjoy christmas because of christmas clothes new outfits you put on christmas whether you go anywhere or not you still get to wear the new outfit fun <laughs> number two was the food <laughs> Food. <laughs> I can't even talk about this one without starting to salivate because we used to eat. <sighs> we used to eat well in, on Christmas. You'd have all your favorite foods, and is it just us, or did we use like the hmm, the trend or the tradition was you'd have like a buffet. You'd never have just one thing unless you know it's one of those kind of drier christmases where financially doesn't allow but you'd have chapatis mm, chapati for christmas and my mom used to make the most delicious chapatis i know everyone says that about their moms but my mom's chapos are the best <laughs> anyway uh, my mom used to make chapatis and her chapatis were to die for they had layers and this ones that are just like a thin paper. Her chapels had layers, eh? You did one and feel like, yes, I've eaten chapo. Mm? You're good. <laughs> chapels on Christmas. Then you'd have um, some of your favorite foods, like maybe pilau, some meat, or chicken, or something. And obviously some junk, <laughs> some good junk, biscuits, juice, or soda, and all that. And ugh, as far as food is concerned, mm, Christmas, mm, 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 mm. I'm salivating just thinking about it. We used to eat wah, very well, very, very well. <laughs> so food was my second, actually food was my favorite thing. Even clothes doesn't come as clothes as food. The food used to be my favorite because oh, it was delicious. You'd eat until you don't even, you can't even sleep because you're not comfortable. You don't even know where to put your stomach because it's so bloated and full. But that's how they worth it. <laughs> then number three was staying up all night or at least trying to stay up all night some of us couldn't have you know we were babies kind of so we would try to kesha to stay up all night till the morning obviously try and make it to midnight then we wish on christmas eve that is then wish each other merry christmas exactly at midnight then try and stay up as long as possible obviously some of us went down before morning but it was always fun to try always fun to try 
Then I'll combine this with number 4. Which was movie or series marathon. Now the movies and series marathon I used to love. The local channels would do this. And I remember mostly I think we used to do KTN at the time. They, they would bring either Christmas movies marathon, like they'd queue up the movies uh, for Christmas. They would or they would do series like um, 24. 24 is the one I remember. Had Jack Bauer. I never used to follow that. <laughs> I watched so many episodes of that thing that I've never actually followed what happened or how it ended. Anyway, let's stay up trying to watch uh, 24 till morning because they'd have a marathon but my favorite oh actually two of my favorites was harry potter marathon movie marathon or lord of the rings lord of the rings i loved but harry potter if there's one that could make me stay up till morning was harry potter i love harry potter I loved Harry Potter. I mean, that movie was just the form. Let's just admit it. Some of us loved it. I loved Harry Potter. Harry Potter movie marathon was my favorite. Then Lord of the Rings, the Christmas movies, those ones with the uh, uh, ghost of Christmas past, Christmas future, and Christmas present, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Those movies were the bomb. So yeah, movie, movie and series marathon used to love that i'd stay up until 4 5 a.m watching them but at least sometimes i would when it was 24 i used to doze off so my conclusion is it wasn't very interesting don't crucify me if you like 24. <laughs> then obviously number five which is the icing on the cake saving the best for last is Christmas was all about family, spending time with family and you know this is the one time of year when you have everyone together so I, I really used to enjoy like spending Christmas with my family, my brothers, my sister, my mom uh, we used to talk, uh, share stories and my mom would tell us some stories of us when we were kids and we would laugh and all that it, it was just it was special it was special and these traditions and if you think back on christmas you remember some of the amazing moments you had and i can i don't even know like spending it with the family was the best even if that christmas was kind of broke as long as you guys did that whole obviously trying to stay up till morning that not require financial <laughs> financial um, injection so trying to stay up till morning was free the movie marathons were free at least back when tv didn't have all this nonsense so let me leave it there when we were analog tv was just free so yeah the movie marathons were free mom's child parties were always there mm. Yes, mom's chapels were always there and just spending time with the family, talking and all that. Ah, that was the best. And I want to, and the reason I'm sharing this, and also I'm hoping to kind of start carrying on the traditions with Kiran. You know, now that I have a kid, I have to make his Christmases special, just like my mom made our Christmases special. I want to carry on the traditions. This December has been a bit uh, a bit tough on the wallet, so obviously not all of them can be done this December, but the ones that can, I want to do them. Obviously with Kiran being three years old, probably our movie marathons will be animations and cartoons, <laughs> and obviously he can't stay up late, so we'll try what we can. Get him some of his favorite snacks, uh, we've done the decorations, he's played with the balloons, at least it's starting to feel different than every other day so yeah i want to carry on the traditions for kiran and myself the christmas traditions that just i'm so excited it's 
we are here. It's Christmas is next week. Christmas is in a couple of days. It's funny. I'm already in the Christmas mood. I can't wait to stuff my face with some of my favorite foods. I can't wait to just I don't know. Spend it with my favorite person, Kiran. At least now he has a better understanding of what's happening. And like the previous Christmases he's had where he had no idea what's going on. <laughs> what's going on. So yeah, I want to carry on the traditions. And that's it for today's video. Do tell me what your Christmas traditions were. I know they weren't always all the same in every household. If you guys used to go up country to Shards and have that whole Mbuzi Choma with the extended family, let me know. If you guys used to stay at home, do your own nuclear family thing, let me know. If you guys used to travel for Christmas, go on vacay, let me know. Let me know what your Christmas traditions are. I'd like, I really like to know. So comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you can relate to any of my traditions in the comment section below as well. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big, 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 big thumbs up for Christmas. Big thumbs up for Christmas, guys. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> like it, share, comment, give me your feedback. Comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, it is the season. Subscribe, hit the red button. And I'll see you next time, which coincidentally will be on Christmas because I post on Tuesdays and Fridays. So I'll see you on Christmas. <laughs>